This guide will help you troubleshoot your Graco sprayer if there is no sound when the trigger is pulled. You should always disengage the trigger lock when spraying. The trigger is unlocked and ready to spray when the red ring is visible. Plug in the electric sprayer. Push and hold the circuit reset button. If you're still experiencing problems with your sprayer, consult your local Graco service center. This guide will help you troubleshoot your Graco sprayer if no material sprays when the trigger is pulled. The sprayer must be free of debris to operate properly. To clean the sprayer, engage the trigger lock and place the prime spray valve in the up position. Unthread and remove the cup. Then remove the suction tube. Dried material may have collected on the suction screen. This may prevent material from feeding into the pump. Clean the suction tube screen with a brush to remove any debris and free up any obstruction. If the suction tube is damaged, the sprayer will not operate properly. Inspect the suction tube for any holes or cracks and replace if necessary. Also, inspect the O-rings that the suction tube attaches to for any cracks or holes and insert the pump armor nozzle into the material inlet to make sure it moves up and down freely. Make sure the flexible suction tube is properly attached. To properly attach, the tube must be angled toward the front of the sprayer. The sprayer must be primed in order for the unit to spray. To prime the unit, make sure the material cup is full and thread it onto the sprayer. Place the prime spray valve in the up position. Unlock and pull the trigger for five to 10 seconds. Release the trigger, then place the prime spray valve in the down position. If the pro control is set too low, the unit may not spray. Increase the pressure to a higher setting. Clean the tip filter, then set the spray tip in the spray position to ensure proper operation. If you are still experiencing problems with your sprayer, continue to the next troubleshooting video. If the sprayer is not priming, the pump may be clogged. To clean the inside of the pump, lift the prime spray lever up. Remove the child resistant cap from the pump armor storage startup tool and thread on the pump armor nozzle. Then remove the material cup and suction tube. With your sprayer upside down over a waste bucket, insert the pump armor storage startup tool into the inlet. To clean the blockage in the pump, squeeze the bottle until pump armor flows out of the drain tube. Remove the bottle and wipe the inside of the sprayer to remove any excess pump armor. Reattach the suction tube and the material cup. Disengage the trigger lock and prime the sprayer. If you are still experiencing problems with your sprayer, continue to the next troubleshooting video. Occasionally, debris can accumulate and clog the spray tip. To unclog a tip obstruction, engage the trigger lock and lift the prime spray valve up to release pressure. Rotate the spray tip to the unclog position and place the prime spray valve in the down position. If the pro control is set at a low pressure, the control knob may need to be increased to spray out the tip clog. Disengage the trigger lock and hold the trigger for one to two seconds to clear the clog. Engage the trigger lock and lift the prime spray valve up to release pressure. Rotate the spray tip back to the spray position, set the prime spray valve to the down position, and reset the pressure control to your previous spray setting. Disengage the trigger lock and check the spray pattern on a test area. Repeat the unclogging process until you achieve a clean spray pattern. If unclogging does not fix the problem, you may need to remove the tip and filter for further cleaning. After excessive wear, you may need to replace the tip assembly or replace the needle assembly. If you are still experiencing problems with your sprayer, continue to the next troubleshooting video. 
If residue is left in the sprayer, the inlet may get clogged and prevent the sprayer from priming. To unclog an inlet obstruction, engage the trigger lock and lift the prime spray valve up to release pressure. Unplug the electric sprayer. Unthread and remove the cup. Then remove the suction tube. Hold the sprayer upside down and use a wrench to loosen and remove the inlet fitting, inlet valve, and remove the inlet spring. Clean as much excess material from the inlet cavity as possible. Scrub the top of the inlet fitting, then remove the O-ring from the inlet valve and clean both pieces. Reassemble the O-ring on the inlet valve. Use a paper clip to check that the outlet valve moves freely. If the outlet valve does not move freely, then perform the outlet valve cleaning procedure. Place the inlet valve with the spring on top of the poppet fitting. Insert the inlet into the pump cavity and hold in place while turning the sprayer upside down. Remove the inlet fitting and visually check to see that the inlet valve has seated correctly. Install and tighten the inlet fitting using a wrench. Use a pencil to lightly push on the inlet valve to make sure it moves up and down freely. If you are still experiencing problems with your sprayer, continue to the next troubleshooting video. If residue dries in the sprayer, the outlet may become clogged. To unclog an outlet obstruction, engage the trigger lock and lift the prime spray valve up to release pressure. Unplug the electric sprayer. Remove the outlet plug with a flathead screwdriver. Then, using a hex tool, unthread the outlet by turning it counterclockwise. Remove the valve by tipping the sprayer upside down. Scrub the outlet in warm, soapy water and poke the valve to free any obstruction. Reinstall the valve with the same hex tool by turning clockwise. Reinstall the outlet plug. If you're still experiencing problems with your sprayer, consult your local Graco Service Center. This guide will help you troubleshoot your Graco sprayer if you receive a poor spray pattern when the trigger is pulled. The sprayer must be free of debris to operate properly. To clean the sprayer, engage the trigger lock and place the prime spray valve in the up position. Unthread and remove the cup. Then remove the suction tube. Dried material may have collected on the suction screen. This will prevent material from feeding into the pump. If you're still experiencing problems with your sprayer, clean the suction tube screen with a brush to remove any debris and free up any obstruction. If the suction tube is damaged, the sprayer may not operate properly. Inspect the suction tube for any holes or cracks and replace if necessary. Also, inspect the O-rings that the suction tube attaches to for any cracks or holes. Clear the air vent free from any debris. Make sure the flexible suction tube is properly attached. To properly attach, the tube must be angled toward the front of the sprayer. The sprayer must be primed in order for the unit to spray. To prime the unit, make sure the material cup is full and thread onto the sprayer. Place the prime spray valve in the up position. Unlock and pull the trigger for 5 to 10 seconds. Release the trigger, then place the prime spray valve in the down position. If you are experiencing runs in the pattern, reduce the pressure to reduce the material flow and move your arm faster. Also make sure the material is near room temperature. If you are still experiencing problems with your sprayer, clean the tip filter then set the spray tip in the spray position to ensure proper operation. If you are still experiencing problems with your sprayer, continue to the next troubleshooting video. If your handheld has large droplets at the beginning or end of a pass, your tip may not be installed correctly. To ensure the tip is installed correctly, engage the trigger lock 
and pull the prime spray valve to the up position. Use your hand to thread the tip onto the sprayer. You may experience some resistance when attaching the tip guard assembly, but continue to tighten the tip until it is completely engaged. Then clean the tip with a rag. Place the prime spray valve in the down position and disengage the trigger lock. Next, check the spray pattern on a test area. You should now have a quality spray pattern. If not, you may need to clean the tip and filter or the tip assembly may be worn out and needs to be replaced. If you are still experiencing problems with your sprayer, continue to the next troubleshooting video. Here are some of the basics of spraying technique. Hold the sprayer at least 10 inches from the surface and adjust accordingly to achieve the desired results. Aiming the sprayer straight at the surface to be painted results in the most even finish. When the sprayer is at an unequal distance to the surface, there will be uneven coverage of material. Flexing your wrist when spraying side to side also helps to deliver a more even finish. Keeping your arm straight while spraying side to side will apply more material in the middle of the pass where the sprayer is closer to the surface, resulting in uneven coverage. Another technique to deliver even spraying is to start your motion before triggering and releasing the trigger before ending your stroke. Triggering the sprayer before moving will result in a heavier buildup at the beginning of your pass. Also, Aim your sprayer at the bottom of the previous stroke, overlapping each pass by 50%. An uneven spray motion will mean uneven coverage. Practice on a piece of cardboard to determine the correct speed for the material you're spraying. Spraying too fast results in a light pulsing pattern. Spraying too slowly will apply too much material, especially on vertical surfaces, and can result in drips or runs. The proper speed delivers an even professional finish.